Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for that very inspiring welcome speech. Your Excellencies, we are now going to invite our national chairman. But before we do that, we will take a peep into history to recollect that it was in Port Harcourt, in the heat of the crisis, to destroy the soul of this party, that our leaders in their wisdom looked far and wide and decided to select a man of high integrity, a leader par excellence, who will withstand the pressures and lead PDP to the promised land. He was given a single mandate. Yours is to go and organize a credible convention to elect leaders for our party. That honorous duty fell on the shoulders of a young man who has had the privilege of serving as a state governor, a senator. Today, the outgoing national chairman of our party, the distinguished senator Ahmed McCarthy, should please come forward to address this convention in his capacity as the national chairman and the peacemaker and the bridge builder. The distinguished senator Ahmed McCarthy we invite you, sir. Ah, to anger ya chi shugabang uh, PDP wa to um, jamia PDP uh, to hongwamla kaduna uh, distinguished senator Ahmed Muhammad Makarfi da yazo ya gaya mana ilin tsarin su na uh, wannan convention din da kuma ya tabbatar da cewa ya ba wannan convention albarka ya sa musu albarka inda za a fara uh, ayyukan wato a uh, jefa kuru'u da sauran su kun dai ji daga bakin shi chairman wanda shine ya tsara wannan convention sai daga baya dai zamu muku fassaran abin da ya fadi ga distinguished senator Ahmed Muhammad Makarfi nan tafi can we have the music to usher in the national chairman <laughs> distinguished ladies and gentlemen the national chairman of our Catholic Committee, Distinguished Senator Ahmed Makarfi, Kwondan Governor of Kaduna State. PDP Nigerian Party, PDP future is bright, oh. PDP United Nation. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President, former President, President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, Your Excellency, our Vice, former Vice President, Waziri Atiku Abakar and Akitan Namadi Sambo, Chairman of the BOT, the Deputy Senate President, the Chairman of the Governors Forum, Your Excellencies, our Governors, Leaders of the National Assembly, Members of the Caretaker Committee, BOT Members, Party Leaders, Distinguished Delegates, Gentlemen of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is only apt at this address begins with a tribute to a true founding father of our great party and a strong pillar in the struggle for the enthronement of an enduring democracy in our country. 
one who made tremendous sacrifices to ensure the survival of both the party and the country. One who virtually stayed away so we all could sleep soundly. Ladies and gentlemen, may we all rise and observe a one moment of silence, one minute silence, in memory and honor of the first democratically elected vice president of Nigeria, Dr. Alex Ifanyichuku Ekwemi, who passed away a couple of weeks ago. Shall we rise for a minute silence in his honor, please? in perfect peace. In the wake of the performance of our dear party at the 2015 general elections, it was natural and in most human endeavors for all of us to not necessarily despair, but be disappointed and do some in introspection with a view to finding out what went wrong and how best to make amends and move forward. It was in that spirit and belief, not only in the temporariness of that setback, but also the conviction that we could, indeed, will bounce back, that we earnestly look forward to the party's May 21st, 2016 convention in Port Harcourt, at which we expected to elect new leadership which will have rallied around to chart a new course for our party and country. The Patakot Convention, however, did not succeed in doing that due to reasons that we all here know and which need no rehearsing. Those reasons and the compelling need to keep the wheels of our dear party moving as well as kickstart the process of repositioning it led you fellow delegates to consider reposing your trust and confidence in my colleagues and I as you constituted us into a caretaker committee to oversee the affairs of the party and organize a fresh convention within three months. Distinguished delegate colleagues, I need not regale you with the various landmines that we came across, particularly in the form of litigations, challenging your particular decision, which led to your extending the tenure of our committee to one year. Even then, the litigation obstacles remained quite a handful, as we had to divide our time between attending to them and discharging our mandate. Not until the 12th of July this year, when the National Supreme Court finally nailed the coffin of the litigations in our favor, in favor of your Patakot made 2016 decision, could we effectively settle down to do our job. As you are all aware, we took over the leadership of the party that was beset by one form of crisis or the other. Obviously, a fallout from the defeat we suffered in the 2015 elections. The party in many states had become divided right from the processes leading to the 2015 elections and also on account of inconclusive or fraudulently conducted congresses leading to, the, leading to the convention. In fighting, general lack of cohesion were becoming the order of the day as disenchantment reigned, threatening and implosion. In addition to that, the acute financial position of the party did not help matters, as all but one of the bank accounts we inherited had been garnished by various court orders on account of debts. The only bank account which we as caretaker committee had access to in the past 18 months is one that had less than two million naira in it. We virtually live from hand to mouth. All that, we, all that we have succeeded in doing, including payment of staff salaries, office needs, maintenance and operational expenses, have been from party leaders who generously donate from time to time and our personal sacrifices. Those odds, notwithstanding, 
we applied ourselves as best as we could measure up to your confidence. It is with gratitude to God that I report to you we succeeded in bringing about substantial reconciliation among PDP members across the country, especially in those states where we inherited serious leadership problems with several factions staking claims to it. States like Adamawa, Anambra, Borno, Kebi, Kwara, Lagos, Ogun, Oshun, and Oyo were all in this category. I'm happy to inform you, dear delegates, that in all of these states but Oshun, we have engendered the emergence through democratic means of new leaderships. This is not to say that divergent interests have ceased to exist in these states and other states. No human gathering is that successful, but so diverse interests have found accommodation under one umbrella. Time and circumstance have conspired against us in the case of Washington, even though some progress has been made, which we hope the incoming national leadership of the party will build upon. Since the Supreme Court judgment, things have been calmer, even though there are still some outstanding legal issues involving a good state as well as the Southwest Zonal leadership. It is my hope that before long, litigations will cease to be the vehicle through which we resolve our issues in the PDP. As the party has adequate internal mechanisms of conflict resolution that are far better than wasting our, than washing our uh, leanings in public. I appeal to all members of our great party to eschew division and rancor and imbibe the culture of subsuming their individual interests into the larger interests of the party, as the party is such a huge umbrella that is big enough to accommodate the interests of all of us. In the course of our trying to reconcile and bring all members under one roof, we are very clear in our minds that we are not embarking on a popularity contest. It is such a paradox of life that no such project can be successfully executed without somehow inadvertently hurting one interest or the other. As I kept hammering with the caretaker committee that all we did was to ensure that everybody made one sacrifice or the other for the progress of the whole family.